Oh, it's weird. It's real weird. Together with Kapoku. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my April favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my monthly favorites. I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites and then I'm gonna run through some other things. I've got some skincare things. I've got a hair care thing. I've got a body care thing I've been trying out. I got a fashion thing or a couple of fashion things, jewelry slash fashion things. Just some fun things to talk about. So let's get to it. For my overall eye favorites this month, I have to go with these two products. So first off, this is the ColourPop what is this called? I've still got the box, luckily, so I can tell you the name. This is the Pressed Powder Palette. This is Belle of the Ball. So just a really pretty, like, bright pink, springy sort of a palette. That's why I love it so much. Like, it just has a very girly look to it. It really creates some beautiful monochromatic looks. Um, it's just really nice quality, wears really well. And then this, oh my goodness. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. This is in Sunset Cove. This is one of the limited edition shades. If you want to see swatches of my overall Friday favorites, check out my Friday favorites to see those. But this is just a gorgeous, like, duochrome -y, I don't know, peachy, pinky, slightly turquoise-y amazingness. It's awesome. For overall cheeks for the month, I have to go with these two products. So first off, this is the ColourPop pressed powder palette and this is in done deal so it has a um, blush and a highlighter in here again i swatched these in friday favorites but this pink is so pretty nice matte pink this is just a gorgeous kind of like peachy champagne sort of a color really nice quality on that wears really well again that kind of like monochromatic look it's so fun and then i love this blush this is the blush that i'm wearing right now love 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 it this is the Baked Blush and Brighten, and this is in Honeysuckle. And it's just a gorgeous, like, everyday, kind of like glowy, bronzy sort of a color. It's awesome. And this is one that you can just, like, throw it on and not wear it with, you know, a contour or a bronzer that day. It can be, like, quick out the door sort of makeup. It's great. And I love all of the Baked Blush and Brightens because they just have this, like, gorgeous look on the skin where they just look effortless and amazing. It still doesn't help a giant zit on your face, but you know, they still look really pretty. Let's not talk about the zit. And then for lips, oh my goodness, I gotta show you a swatch again of this because it's just amazing. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Miss Argentina. I was obsessing over this thing before it even released and there is good reason because this is amazing it's just a gorgeous kind of like raspberry pinky red so my camera just rudely cut me off but it's a beautiful raspberry red pink sort of a color it's awesome so pigmented wears really well layers well with other lipsticks i'm really really liking her everlasting liquid lipsticks right now especially layering them with um lipsticks i've been doing that a lot recently but even by themselves, I'm just really liking them. But this color specifically, I feel like it's a must have. I feel like it might be a must have because it's, it's so good. Okay, so my skincare favorites this month are gonna be a little bit difficult to talk about because they are samples. But I've been loving these samples. And I'm sure you've heard about these before because they're really popular, Sunday Riley stuff. But I pulled up um, descriptions of these so I can, um, let you know like what they are because I I don't think I printed out anything about these. I did put a little tissue in this one because I didn't want to get like oil everywhere. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. Let's talk about this one first. This is the Luna Oil. The hype is real. The hype is real on this oil. And the other one is the Good Jeans. It's real. It's so good. These are both amazing. So first off, the Luna Oil it says a next generation retinol oil that boosts the look and feel of skin plumpness while improving the appearance of wrinkles, redness, and pores for visibly younger looking skin. Solutions for fine lines and wrinkles, dryness and rough texture, and pores. It goes on like, 
about it says um works throughout the night to deliver more visibly youthful luminous even toned skin in the morning trans retinoic acid ester retinol complex reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while visibly improving the signs of premature aging including fine lines uneven texture age spots dryness and dullness it keeps going on and on about it but oh my goodness i've been using this at night it stinks not as bad as some of the other products i've tried from sunday riley some of them are like real bad this is pretty bad this is more kind of like herbally strange but good jeans is probably stinkier we'll talk about that in a second but i really do feel like this is so hydrating on the skin and just like evens out the look of everything texture has been better on my skin fine lines have been lessened the discoloration on my face like i just feel like this is like a do-it-all oil that just makes your skin look better. It's awesome. Feels amazing on the skin and really does great things. Like I can see a difference even with just using the samples. I'm going to want to buy this because it's really, really good. Like I can just see significant differences in my skin and quickly. So I don't know what else I can say about it except that I'm loving it. And for the good jeans, so this is the stankier one of the two. It's definitely weirder smelling, like it's a funky weird smell. Like it's a little bit herbally, but then a little bit like, I don't even know. I don't even know if I could guess what this smells like because it is that weird. The, if, you, if you can get past the smell, I think you'd love the product. Oh, it's weird. It's real weird. I don't even know like it smells old it smells like it's like going bad but that's what they smell like like from the beginning so it just has a funky smell but it works really well it says a clarifying line smoothing lactic acid treatment solutions for dullness and uneven texture dark spots fine lines and wrinkles good genes all-in-one lactic acid treatment is formulated with high potency purified grade lactic acid that immediately exfoliates dull pore clogging dead skin cells revealing smoother fresher younger looking skin fine lines appear visibly plumped while the skin looks more radiant with continued use the appearance of stubborn hyperpigmentation the visible signs of aging are reduced for a healthier looking complexion goes on and on and on it's awesome so i first heard about both of these well these are like two of ashley's like she loves them can't be without them products and then one of my sweet sweet managers at sephora amy she loves these like she cannot be without her good jeans because she's very fair complected even more so than me. And she said that this has really helped the discoloration on her skin more than anything else. So, and I can see why, like I've been using both of these and I'm not sure which one overall is doing like all the work. I really feel like it's the combo of the two. Like that's why they're sold together. That's why so many people like them together because I've been using them together and I'm seeing the difference in my skin. Again, smoother, not as like bumpy, texture is smoothed out. Um, just a smoother look to my skin. Like, especially like when I wake up in the mornings after I've used this, I'm like, man, that stuff is working. So these are pricey skincare products. That's why I haven't like wanted to really try them yet because I figured I would fall in love with them because so many people love them. And I fell in love with them and they're really pricey, but man, they work really well. So it's hard to tell from a sample, but I feel like these are products that if you got a sample, I think you could get at least like a little bit of an idea of what you think about them. And if you can get past the stanky smell, well, and then my battery just died in the middle of me talking. So I apologize for all the breaks, but I have less time to film these days. So we're just going to have to go with it. So, but anyway, what I was saying is I think if you get a sample of these, I think you'd be able to at least get a little idea of what you think about them if you can get past the smell and if you're seeing those differences in your skin because I feel like they work quickly like you can start seeing the differences quickly so the hype is real y'all these are so good for a hair care favorite this month this is my pick this is the dry bar hot toddy heat and UV protectant so what does it say about this it says protects hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit seals split ends and helps prevent color fading so i've been using this i've been using this and also 
the favorite that I mentioned last month, the spray, the Sebastian spray. So I use this when my hair is wet before I blow dry my hair. And then I use the spray before I curl it or whatever I do with it. But I really do feel like my hair is looking better, like just healthier. And that's what my hairstylist said. Like she said she feels like I had um, less breakage in my hair and I heat style my hair often, really often. So I need to protect it. So I got this in gratis. That's why it has my name on it. Um, I do feel like this is working though. Like I typically was using more like drugstore heat protectants and I feel like there's something to be said about maybe spending a little bit extra at least for these, I feel like I can see a difference now that I've started using these two particular heat protectants. This one and then the Sebastian one that I mentioned last month. But I really just started using this one in the last, like, I don't know, right at a month. Right at a month, I think. And um, I was glad to hear that my hairstylist could see a difference. Like, I've been trying to grow out my hair for years now, y'all. So... I don't need to be breaking off any more hair than needed. So, which none is needed to be broken off. So I feel like this is making a difference. So if you're looking for a heat protectant, try this one out. It smells really good. Yeah, it has like that fresh dry bar sort of a scent to it. So it's really nice and fresh and seems to work well. A body care favorite that I've been trying out and really enjoying this month is this one. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It looks like it would be pronounced Bum Bum Cream, but I believe that it is Boom Boom Cream. It says, infused with naturally all-powerful Guarana Extract. So I got this for free through Octoly to try out, and I was really excited about getting to try it because I've been curious about this for a while. I'm sure that you've heard about this because it got a lot of buzz when it first came out because it's kind of like a different sort of a body cream, like what it's supposed to do. It says, beautiful Brazilian bottoms have a special secret. A cream rich in guarana, a native Amazonian plant whose fruit contains, <laughs> I said that really weird, fruit contains, whose fruit contains one of the most potent forms of caffeine on the planet. Together with capoku, <laughs> capoku butter, that's the best guess. Acai and coconut oil, guarana caffeine helps posteriors look and feel their smoothest, tightest, and positively most pinchable. Recommended by tango wearers and admirers everywhere. So it's a fast absorbing body cream and it's supposed to tighten and smooth skin like no other. So I was really curious about this. Um, and this is a pricey cream, it is. So that's why I was kind of like, I don't know about it. So that's why I was excited I got to try it through Octoly. I'm liking this, I really am. So, okay, first off, just at a minimum, it smells really, really good. Like vanilla, almondy sort of a scent to it. Very tropical, like really nice for a summertime sort of a um, moisturizer. So I've been trying this all over my skin. I've been trying it on my legs and on my bum. So, because that's apparently what it's supposed to make look nice. And here's what I think. Like, I think moisturizers in general, like creams in general, make your skin look nicer because hydrated skin looks nicer than dehydrated skin. So I think that's part of it, but also, when I use it, like I'm really trying to like look, you know, in the mirror, I do feel like it's smoothing. And I don't know, like every time I look, I'm like, is that just me thinking I'm seeing it? Or is it really doing it? Is the caffeine really doing it? And I'm not sure. I feel like I'm seeing a difference. I'm sure it's partly that it's just hydrating, so that helps. But also caffeine is supposed to tighten. Like I've heard about that for like under eyes too. So it's really cool that that is in here. So this is gonna be my summertime moisturizer for sure. Cause it smells really good. It's hydrating. I do feel like it's doing some tightening and like making everything look nicer. Um, so that's great for the summer. I would say get a little size of this cause there are smaller sizes of it. I'd say get a little size of it first and see what you think about it. But I'm impressed with it. Like I'm kind of shocked that I really do like it. And 
especially for summer. I think it's a really good summertime moisturizer. So this was a body care favorite this month because this was what I was trying out and enjoying the most. And then lastly, some jewelry favorites. So I actually got this stuff after my um, birthday haul that I showed recently, and I showed several handmade jewelry items that I purchased recently. So I got these after purchasing those other things. So I'm still gonna do my favorite handmade jewelry piece um, video for y'all. So that'll be coming soon. But these are definitely my monthly favorite. These are from Wear Braca. I love their company. I love what they do. They help to fight human trafficking through their company. So with your purchase, you are helping fight that, which is awesome. And their pieces are beautiful. So this is one of their pieces. This is one of their pieces. So I love like their chains that they use really cool they have gorgeous like stone sort of jewelry like if you like druzies if you like turquoise if you like um just bright colorful funky sort of jewelry i think you'd love it so this is one of theirs this is a druzy ring that i absolutely love again this and this loving those and then this ring right here so they're just beautiful. They have some gorgeous jewelry pieces. Oh my goodness. So these are my standout fashion favorite this month. I'm just loving handmade jewelry in general. I love it all the time, but I've especially been using and loving these specific pieces. All right guys, so those are all my April favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving in April, either makeup or skincare or hair care or body care or fashion favorites. I would love to know your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!